Mr. Greedy. Gentleman from Alexander, Mr. Kapika. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Speaking to the bill? Gentleman has floor. I think the delegate did a good job of explaining the problem this bill aims to solve. We have stopped providing the funds so that teachers can do the quality of professional development we would expect them to do in order to advance in their profession. The problem is I think the solution is a retreat. It's waving the white flag and saying, we're so uncomfortable with the idea of funding high quality professional development for teachers that would we rather just get rid of it? And I think that's something that should give us all pause. Every year we pass small little incremental additions to the expectations we put on teachers. And we've had conversations this year on the floor about how it's unfair to ask teachers to pay for that. And this bill is consistent with that. But we also regularly talk about how important it is to have high quality teachers in the classroom. And we talk about how critical it is that our low performing schools do better. You can be licensed as a teacher in Virginia with about 18, 20 undergraduate credits. That's not enough credits to learn all the things you would need to learn about how to be successful in the classroom. And the whole purpose of the expectation that teachers who, are, uh, who don't have a master's degree, the whole purpose of the idea that they take some additional college classes is to catch them up on subjects that they just can't cover in the low number of credits you need to become a certified teacher in Virginia. Um, I have concerns about this bill because when you read the language, it would forego virtual classes provided by universities. So the Department of the Board of Education could require or create a virtual professional development class that's provided by a university. But because it's provided by a university, it couldn't be mandated. The Board of Ed could cobble together resources to try to create a cost-effective community college course for teachers for professional development. They wouldn't be able to mandate that professional development to our teachers because this language would prohibit them from doing that. The challenge we have is we have a lot of folks here who like the idea of firing teachers quickly if they're not doing a good job. We have a lot of folks who like the idea of taking over schools quickly if they're not meeting expectations. And yet we are, after years and years and years and years of fiscal constraint thrust upon our schools, instead of giving them the resources to rise to the challenges we have given them, we're simply saying lower expectation is better. This bill is a retreat from high quality teachers in Virginia. Uh, it, it absolutely is solving a problem, but the problem it's solving is one this body created because we won't give the money we need for professional development. Now, my friends in the VEA, they like this bill, and they're probably going to score it, and I'm going to vote against it, and I, I expect most people in this room will vote for it, and, and you should. Our teachers need relief. But don't think that this bill is improving the quality of education in Virginia. This bill is a statement that we are unwilling to fund quality education in Virginia, and we would rather simply reduce expectations instead of provide the resources for it. Thank you.